Hello everyone, a new AI video model from Hanyuan was released last week called the Hanyuan Custom. This is referencing models where you can create similar videos like 1 2.1 VAs, where you use an image as a subject or object. You add your text prompts and create video clips with your reference image. As you can see, we have a single image as the reference where there's a young kid playing. And then we have multiple subjects like this example here where you see two characters talking. The reference image shows the male character and the female character. The text prompts can be very simple because you're already referencing the character as a style for that subject. Just mention the character to let the AI identify it. Then, as the user, you just prompt the environment, the actions, what they're doing, and it's good to go. Now, something really interesting about this AI model is that they're using Lava which they created previously for multimodal. It allows an image as input for captioning. Through that captioning, they're doing more advanced work, using it as a prompt, similar to how image prompts are done. So if you have the image of this man as an input, when you do the text prompt, it will be understood by the Lava language model. It can identify that this man is actually the subject the user is referencing. Then, it will take that noise latent and put it into the video latent. Afterward, it will animate this subject into the video's environment as the output. Of course, you can also mask the subject by segment or by region, like using a bounding box or something similar. What's really interesting about this model is that it's not only useful for visuals, but also capable of audio-driven video generation. That means you can use audio as an input, and it will generate a video based on that audio prompt. For example, here we have some features from this AI model, like single subject video customizations. You see a guy as a reference or a female as a reference image. Then, you can use different text prompts to place that reference character into different environments. For instance, walking with a dog, sleeping at night, or being in the subway, it works well. The output is very coherent. You'll notice the character has the same style outfit, almost identical, except in this one, the female character is wearing a short sleeve t-shirt, but in the rest of the video examples, she stays consistent with the long sleeve shirt, just like the reference here. Moving on, we also have multi-subject video customizations, similar to VA's models. We can use one or more input images as references and treat them as subjects. Then, with text prompts, we can generate videos using those two subjects as references. It creates something fun like what you see in these examples. Especially like this one, it's a great example for virtual try-ons. You have a character and a garment, and you can use the garment to dress the character, generating different video scenes. Maybe not in this book reading room, but somewhere else, like walking in a garden or something like that. You can do that dynamically with this AI model. And of course, there's video-driven video customization. This is something like what you see in these examples, a demo video with two girls and a teddy bear. Using the reference image, it can change the teddy bear into a husky doll. It's pretty nice when you talk about the quality aspect. You'll notice even moments like the hand passing through here have a texture that feels realistic within the actual video. Then, in the masked regions, it regenerates the husky doll on top of that. Another cool example is here. You have the backpack as a reference. In the source video, a woman is walking on a hill wearing a black backpack. The backpack shape isn't the same as the reference image, but after editing, look at the generated result. This could be really useful for product demos or user-generated content for brands showing how maybe you're selling a backpack or maybe sling bags. You can do this with any existing videos that have similar objects on the character, you can mask that region and swap it with your backpack like this. You'll notice the three stickers, or rather, three patches on the backpack. They're able to replicate that from the reference image. When we zoom in here, you'll see there are three logo patches stuck on top of the backpack in the reference image. It's able to replicate that in this video as well. Even as the character walks with different angles, I'm honestly looking forward to testing this model because I want to see if it's too good to be true. If it works in different angles and the backpack adjusts accordingly with different poses, this could be a game changer for online advertisements, especially for lifestyle products. You can use any existing videos and insert your own product for a product demo. Cutting down production costs, 
and media advertising expenses. Let's check out the official Hugging Face page for Hanyuan Custom now. The Hanyuan Custom is still in ongoing development. As of today's recording date, May 2025, it has single subject video customizations for inference and a checkpoint created, audio driven video customizations, video driven video, and multi subject video customizations will be released later once they're done. So it doesn't have all the features enabled yet, but we can test the single subject customizations. To find it, go to the Files and Versions tab, then go to the Models folder. Within the Models folder, you'll see Hanyuan Customs 720p. This folder stores the single subject referencing models. Right now, we have the FP16 models in the first row and the FP8 models in the second row. I've downloaded the FP8 version for local testing since the full FP16 model requires pretty high GPU specs. Scrolling back to the Hugging Face repo page, you'll see that the Hanyuan Customs full dimension size requires 80 gigabytes of VRAM. That's not exactly consumer PC friendly, but with the FP8 version, we can run it with a minimum of 24 gigabytes of VRAM at 720p resolution, generating 129 frames. But the process is really slow. They've tested the full model weights for performance benchmarks, and there's another inference script here showing how to generate videos with one GPU. Scroll down to here, and you'll see it's using the FP8 model weights. Based on these hints, I scroll down to this script here. We see that the FP8 models can run on local GPUs, though you'll need high-end configurations. At the top here, you see the full pre-trained model files, which are designed for multi-GPU setups. For us, if you're running this locally on your PC, FP8 should be the one to go for. First, in ConfiUI, we'll check some examples of how to generate this, and then we'll see how to install it later. First, we're using the Hanyuan Video Wrapper this time because there's an update to the wrapper nodes, allowing us to use Hanyuan Video Custom, especially the FP8 saved tensor files. We can use both the FP8 scaled and FP8 quantized converted versions of the models. After the model loader, we see we can use the torch compile argument and the stage attention attention model where we can experiment with different varieties. If you haven't installed Trident or stage attention, you can use SDPA, but you'll need to disconnect torch compile if you're using SDPA. If you don't encounter errors with torch compile and stage attention, you can connect them back together. Next, we'll look at the dual clip loader and VAE. This setup is the same as the previous models we've seen, like Hanyuan and video image to video and text to video models. We're using the same clip loader and VAE loader settings here. For the VAE loader, you can use VAE BF16 or VAE FP32, making sure to set the precisions correctly. Up here, we see the image settings. These are used for image referencing. If you have a smaller size image, for example, a landscape image. What if you have other dimensions? You'll need to resize the image, keep the proportions intact, and set the padded area to a white background. This way, you'll use the dimensions mentioned in the Hanyuan Custom Hugging Face repo. There's a specific dimension size for your reference, as well as the frame numbers. The 129 frames represent the length of the video, and it will go through the image padding to match the video's dimensions before sending it to the VAE encoder and then to the sampler. Here, the sampler's width and height default values can be connected to the input from the resized image. So the width and height pass all the way down to the sampler as inputs along with the frame number. I set 49 frames here just to try out the demo, but if you want the standard frame number, you can go back to 129 which is the standard video length for Han Yuan Custom. Typically, we're using the decode tile. Remember to set the tile when you output your videos after sampling. At the top here, we're using something different, not a typical text prompt. For the text encoder node, we have the Han Yuan Videos Image to Videos node. This is because we're getting the clip vision output from our Lava Llama 3, which we talked about in the research paper. When Lava Llama 3 identifies the input reference image, we'll see, for example, this senior man and we'll reference him in the text call. Let's say here, a senior man walking across the traffic light slowly on a busy street with lots of cars driving around. Let's check out this example first. 
In this example, as you can see, it's referencing too much from the input image I provided. It's almost the same. Even the city backgrounds match closely. We can show the reference side by side. It's very similar to the input reference image, but what if we really want to leverage the customizations of this model and only reference the subject, which is the character in this image? So let's edit this text prompt. Let's say we don't want him walking across the traffic light. Maybe we say, walking on the beach, and make it a very simple text prompt this time. So, a senior man walking on the beach. Okay, so we've got two examples that I just generated using this reference subject. In this one, it's a close-up tracking shot of the senior man walking on the beach. And then the other one, which I did earlier, uses the same reference image, but modifies the text prompt without editing the input image. You'll see the referencing from the image changes a little bit. With the reference input image, we have the same composition of the city street. But when I set the text prompt to man walking on the beach, it just adds a little sand on top of the road, trying to pretend it's like a beach. This model heavily analyzes what you input from your reference image through Lava Llama 3. Whatever you input will be used as a reference for your video. This time I generated the senior man walking on the beach for video generation. Here I actually removed the background for the character. Using remove background, the only focus I want the AI to see is the subject, the senior man, and not the city background. Therefore, this time, it changes significantly compared to my first try. If you have the same input image without removing the background, you'll also include the urban street background in the video generation. So if I just put senior man walking on the beach as a simple text prompt, it won't fully change the environment to what I really meant to create. On my second try, it worked. I also added another text prompt at the end, a close-up shot, dynamic tracking shot of the senior man. So it zooms in rather than having a far shot of the character walking in this video scene. So far, I've noticed that Han Yuan custom references subjects pretty well in terms of outfit and style, how the character looks, and even replicates some background elements from the reference image. Like in the first example here, it almost perfectly replicates the same image as my input image through what I loaded for subject referencing. This was the first time I generated it, and it didn't do any background removal. The text prompt was really simple, just saying the subject, the character walking across the street, and it added some creativity by adding another guy walking across the street in the video. It fully replicates the input image style. As you can see, even the buildings here are very close to what we have in the input image. Therefore, this reference to video model, I can say it's pretty strong on input image styling. Next, I tried multiple subject referencing in this workflow. I combined two images into one and resized the image for Han Yuan custom video generation. In this one, I combined the existing image of the senior man walking on the street with a fashion model, putting them together into one image like this. Although the model I'm currently using is for single image or single subject referencing, with a little trick, we can reference multiple subjects into one video, by combining images and concatenating multiple images into one. So, we can get results like this. But sometimes, I don't really like how this reference to video AI model behaves. When we have a really strong pose for the character in the reference image, like this fashion model whose head is tilted to the right side, even in the video at the beginning, it mimics this pose. It should just have a normal walking posture. It would be better. It's taking too much from the reference image. The latest update of the wrapper custom node includes Han Yuan Video Custom Testing 01. This one, by default, uses a single image as a reference when you load the JSON file. You'll see I'm currently loading this one, Han Yuan Custom Testing 01. When you need to run this new reference subject to video model, you'll need these model files. First, you'll need to download them from the Han Yuan Video's comfy, repackaged save tensor files in their repo. Again, I'll share the link in the description below. This is the FP8 version of Hanyuan Video Custom. For the text encoder clip vision and VAE, you can download them from the Hanyuan Video's repackaged repo published by Comfy UI on Hugging Face. So far, that's the latest update for Hanyuan Videos. It seems like there's a battle between companies in the AI video model space. Since the beginning of text to video, now we're moving to image to video, video to video, and now reference to video. 
more video editing add-on features are coming up from their AI models, including exciting developments like audio-driven, video-driven, and multi-subject video customizations, similar concepts to VAce, but with structural differences. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.